What's going on, everyone? How y'all doing today? I am pretty sure I'm live. And yes, I can see myself on my YouTube channel. What's going on, guys? Welcome. Good to see you. Already a couple hundred people hanging out in the chat before I was even here. Literally 278 people here before I started the stream. Actually, the number just went down. I don't know if that's a bad sign. Anyways, guys, welcome back. Today, we're going to do some good old StarCraft 2. It's Friday once again. I want to be doing these Friday streams pretty much every week, at least for the foreseeable future. Obviously, normally I stream on Twitch, but uh, yeah, yesterday I did my, or not yesterday, yesterday week, last week I did my very first YouTube stream, and honestly, it went really well. And then since then, Twitch also announced some questionable decisions that I don't think are going to be very good for them in the long run. I already had decided I wanted to do a weekly YouTube stream, but uh, yeah, they made me uh, they made me realize it's probably not a bad idea. Anyways, still not gonna go anywhere on Twitch, of course. I'm gonna keep going there as well. What's going on, guys? Welcome, welcome. Good to see you. If I'm not mistaken, I have notifications and things all set up today as well. So last week, I mean, I kind of had those, but they didn't run particularly well. I think super chat notification should be here if someone decides to become a member that should also be available so yeah hopefully i've got it all set up properly the thing is i can't really test that without actually being live so usually the best thing i like to do is just go live and then wing it anyways guys today the plan is to have you play against me one of the questions I've been getting over the years is whether or not I want to play a one versus one. And sometimes I take people up on that offer, but oftentimes, you know, it's just not the right time, not the right place. If you want to play a one versus one against me, I'm going to start with some 1v1s. We're going to do some free-for-alls and some battle royales and all that later too. So hopefully a lot of people will get a shot. But if you want to play against me, I'm on the European server in Group Loco TV. You can literally 1v1 me, bro, if you want to. I mean, you don't have to, but you can. Does it have to be ladder maps? Nope, it does not have to be ladder maps. As a matter of fact, the very first game I'm hosting today is going to be on the greatest map of all time. Steps of War. Which one is it? Is there even an original... Is that even how you spell it? Maybe that's not how you spell it. Maybe I just search for Of War? Maybe it's like Donation that? Accepted. It worked! Fantastic. Fantastic. Thank you very much, Barnacle Bop. The $2 Super Chat. Oh, maybe I have to go to Wings of Liberty over there. Is that how this works? I made a little list of maps I wanted to go check out. Some of them are from the very early days of StarCraft, though. I think that'd be fun. Mm. Anyways, get online on the European server. Join Group Loco TV. So the way you join is by just being in any chat channel or anywhere and typing slash join and then Loco TV. It's L-O-W-K-O-T-V or in lowercase and just hit enter. You can also find it through the group system, but usually that's a little bit, a little bit quicker. So I'll wait until, yeah, you guys have a chance to get online. And hopefully, hopefully, that'll do. Oh, okay, this doesn't just have the maps on it anymore? Gotcha. I did play a game on Steps of War not too long ago, though. There's Novice Steps of War. Is this the one with the rocks? Blizzard at some point... <laughs> this is a very long time ago. Does it say when this map was made? So, Blizzard at some point made a novice edition of some of the more popular maps. This must have been in 2010. Hey, thank you very much, Gavilan. Appreciate you. Um, this must have been back in 2010, where essentially a lot of players were complaining that they were getting cheesed a lot. And if I'm not mistaken, the novice edition of maps essentially put rocks all over it. I'm not sure if that's what it is. It's been like a, literally a decade, like literally more than a decade. Well, anyways, we'll give this one a try. So the way I'm going to decide who gets to play from the in-game lobby is with a little bit of trivia. 
I was thinking about this for a little bit. I figured what would be the best way to choose who can play. We're gonna do a little bit of StarCraft trivia. Um, I want to do probably about 10 or so 1v1 letter games, and then we'll do some free-for-alls and maybe some uh, arcade games as well. Plan on being live for the next four hours. Hmm. So, hopefully, a lot of people that want to play at the very least get a chance. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to read the question out loud, but I will at the same time also be copy-pasting it in-game. So hopefully, if you are on a bit of a delay or your internet is not as reliable, you can... Still answer it, but please only answer in game so I can actually invite you into the lobby, okay? Yeah, are we ready? So, again, if you want to join Grip Loco TV, European server, <laughs> the answer is Corvid Reactor. That is the Raven Energy upgrade. Not what I wanted to go for with this first one. All right, all right. I made a list, guys. I came prepared. Yo, Pero, I don't know if this is going to show up. I think it should show up, but it seems like there's a little bit of delay on the notifications. I'm not exactly sure if it will. But Pero just donated a casual 100 euro tip. Thank you very much. That's incredibly generous of you. He says, I still remember your video where you told us... Um, oh, you... Oh, okay. You still remember the video where I told you guys that I was going to leave university? To do what I do right now. You're really proud of me? Yo, thank you so much. That means a lot. Yeah, so again, I just set out these... Or I just Donation set up those notifications. Protected. It's a little bit delayed for some reason. I don't really know why. But it does show up eventually. I don't really know exactly why the delay is there. But hey, there it is. Okay. Anyways, I'll, I'll get this all organized as we go through these uh, these weekly streams. All right, first question. First one to get the answer right will be invited into the lobby to play a 1v1 against me on Novice Steps of War. You ready? What is the name of the game that can be played on the arcade machine in Wings of Liberty? I think it is The Lost Viking, but it's okay, Orbius. We're not gonna we're not gonna be too concerned about just getting a single letter wrong or, you know, the exact details. I think we'll be fine. Orbius. I believe Orbius actually played in one of the recent viewer tournaments, didn't you? I think I casted some of your games. Ooh, he says, just FYI, I'm in Australia, so I have 300 ping. All right. Uh, I don't really know exactly how good Orbius is. If I recall correctly, it was pretty good. I think Orbius was like Diamond League or so. Or maybe, no, 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 no. Did I cast your game, or did I cast, or at the very least, review some of your viewer-submitted replays? I think you played... Oh, you're Diamond 3 on NA? Okay. Alright, 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 I see. Show him, Orbius. You are our first hope. Alright, nice. Let's see. I think, I think he submitted a bunch of replays as well for me to cast as viewer-submitted games. I think I may have even casted some. Alright. So, for those of you unfamiliar, Steps of War is literally a map that has like eight bases in total, but you can really only take like two. <laughs> it's pretty bad. <laughs> this is back when Blizzard first made StarCraft 2. This was literally made back in 2000 and probably 10, maybe even 9. <sighs> oh yeah, you guys can definitely cheese me. That is totally okay. I am not going to be offended. If you can win against me, that's totally fine. I'll probably play some Terran and Protoss as well. I think that would be fun. Kind of depends on how good my opponents are. Obviously, we do want to try and win. Uh, I am going to be trying, yes. So what is Novice? Yes, so this is Novice. So this is not the regular edition of Steps of War. This is the one where Blizzard added a bunch of rocks. So basically, like, players were complaining that they were getting cheesed too frequently on this map. So rather than making the map better, they decided, you know what? This will indirectly fix the problem. So there's huge rock setup. 2,000 HP each. Okay, I do recall correctly. It's been a very long time since I've seen this map. But... <laughs> but yeah, this is normally not something that I can do very easily, right? If I make a video, for example, playing 1v1s against viewers is not something I usually do. So I figured that might be a fun thing to do on the stream instead. 
Um, how greedy can we be on a map like this, though? So this is a map where I remember very distinctly. If my opponent moves out and I see him right around here, he will literally get to my natural faster than I can make Zerklings. So this is not a map where you can be reactionary. This is basically a map where you're constantly crossing your fingers and hoping you've got the right units at the right time. Which is why it is considered to be one of the absolute worst maps that has ever been made. Anyways, I think the rocks will probably keep us safe. Arbius is a Protoss. I'm actually... Oh, I don't even hear any music. Uh, anyways, Orbius is a Protoss player. So if I were to make a guess, I think he's going to be making flying units. There's some music. It's coming in. Also, I tweaked some of the stream settings. If you guys are experiencing any issues, any lag, any problems whatsoever, please let me know. I tried to make them better. But again, some of those things are kind of tricky to fix without, you know, being life. So I think I fixed them correctly. But if there are any issues, please let me know. I changed, for example, the volume on my microphone. So it should be a little bit louder than it was last stream. But please let me know if it's not, like, in sync, for example, with the... I don't know, for example, the, the game. Like, if you can barely hear the game. I am not able to check such things without going live properly. Okay. He's chrono-boosting something out of the warp gate. Or probably warp gates, rather. I'm not exactly sure what it is. Could even be plus one flyer attacks. Because, like I said, this is a very small map. Don't even think it would be horrible. It'd be pretty bad, but... Mm -mm -mm. So I think I should probably put a Zerkling at the front. Just to tr check out roughly what my opponent is up to. I'm going to need to make a lot of queens. Uh, he can obviously also listen to me while we're playing. I'm gonna make the assumption that that is not the case. <laughs> but, you know. That might be an issue. I think it's, it's gonna be fine, to be honest. As long as I don't go for any... Uh, I should be able to get that Nidus Worm up in his main base easy peasy. Okay. We'll see if he panics. If he panics, we'll be fine. I'm using uh, my knowledge against him. So, I would like to have a Zerkling out at the front, but it's going to be kind of tricky. going to go for a Lair here. I'll be going for Blind Spores as well. Okay, yeah, yeah. So there is an Oracle. Get him, Queens. <sighs> no, Orbius! Wrong way! Did I just hit a supply block? Nice. Impressive gaming here, Loco. I think flying units actually are automatically going to be much better, right? So I actually had the Zerklings working on those rocks for a bit, but I barely did any damage. Might not be ideal. Yeah, I was thinking about different custom games that we can play as well, easily, as a community. Some time ago, I casted a Battle Royale between a bunch of different pro gamers. Some of you may remember that map. It was really good. Sadly, none of the pros have really been playing that, as far as I know. At least not recently. And, um... Yeah, I think it would be really fun if we can maybe play one of those free-for-alls. That might be a good idea. Ooh. We have you gifted memberships. Guys, I have a slightly different voice line this time around. You don't know how much work it was to find those original voice lines that Blizzard at some point shared. I spent an hour looking for the original voice lines. If someone wants them, reach out to me. If you're a streamer, for example, it's very, very cool. But uh, they basically shared it. And this is where, where I, I couldn't find the files. They shared it not as a StarCraft 2 streamer announcing uh, announcer pack, but they actually shared it as a Heroes of the Storm announcer pack. So it was a cool idea by Blizzard, because I've been, you know, using those notification sounds for a long time. You know, like the new subscriber detected or donation confirmed. 
I've been using those uh, for many years. But, yeah, they were apparently shared as part of Heroes of the Storm and not StarCraft 2. So it made it a little bit tricky. Those rocks, man! How long have I been, been working on those rocks? Yeah, there's actually an Alarak version as well. I can I can show you guys after this game. Remind me if I forget. There's one for Alarak and then one for the Adjutant. So these are 2000 HP rocks. They take forever. Okay, looks like he killed his. They have complete armor. <laughs> that explains it. That explains it. Almost freedom. Okay, the Zerklings can start running. Found a couple stalkers. Maybe he actually blinked them down. I don't know if he took down his rocks. Yeah, I think he actually just blinked them down. He's going straight into carriers. Orbius. Orbius probably knows I don't enjoy playing against carriers very much. Okay, you guys get over here. Oh, man, my Zerklings can't actually get over here. Okay, believe this. Orbi is just chilling. Behind the wall. Orbi is just like, you know what? I can take three bases? Don't mind if I do. <laughs> so the problem is, right? There are not a lot of bases on this map. Like, there's just very few. <laughs> so I want to expand. But there aren't that many places to expand to. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Oh, I saw it. I guess I'll take them all. It doesn't seem to me that Orbius wants to go for a move anytime soon. Oh! He went down to the low ground quick! We're gonna have to take a moment here until his blink is gonna be available again. <laughs> Could you maybe put some creep over there too? That might not be a bad idea. Yeah, Orbius is not gonna knock down the rocks. I mean, to be fair, if Blizzard's goal with the Novus edition of the maps was to make them more macro-focused, they succeeded. Um, these are also maps, I imagine, that have a ton of minerals in these mineral fields, don't they? Maybe not. Okay, so when these maps were first introduced a very long time ago... Mineral fields in every single base were significantly larger, meaning that you could turtle very easily. Like, you only needed a few bases in order to achieve stuff. Okay. My strength comes from cheese, which is not this map. <laughs> Every Diamond League Protals ever. Okay, sorry, sorry. That's not entirely fair. Only like 80%. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. All right, again, if you guys want to join, European server, Group Loco TV. I'm doing one for you once against the community to get things started off with. Our next game is gonna take place on the famous King Sejong Station. Why does it not find me the maps? I think I have to go over here. King. Yeah, there it is. The answer is no. No, that's not the correct answer to the, the question. Again, I'm gonna be inviting people through a little bit of trivia. Thank you though, Maktovas, for gifting us up. 
to eliminate it Zerkling. Actually, I said gifted a sub. Gifted a, a member? G I don't know. I don't know how YouTube streams work. Anyways. And thank you, Nolan, as well. Nolan says, first I got my sub on Twitch and now here. <laughs> ah, got him. Got him. Very nice. The membership gang. Very, very cool. Well, the thing is, a membership is a subscription, but with YouTube, obviously, when people say subscription, they immediately think of just subscribing, right? Like following a channel. So like following is subscribing and memberships is, it's a bit confusing. It's a little bit, uh, it's a little bit confusing. Anyways. Game number two, King Sejong Station. Here we go. Are you ready? The question, first guy to get it right is going to be invited into the game. The question is, who won the very first GSL tournament in 2010? Whoa, Mac, that was so fast. What? How fast was that? Incredible. It was indeed Fruit Dealer. Fruit Dealer ended up winning 4-1 over Rainbow in the finals. I was ready with the copy pasta. You knew the question? Is that like the most common StarCraft trivia question? I guess if you think about StarCraft trivia, there are only so many questions you can... Well, there's tons that you can come up with, but... Mag is way ahead of the meta. Very smart. Mag was ready with the answer. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, Mag. Mag is a Diamond 1 Terran. Oh, yeah, the voiceover thing. One, uh, one second, please. Let me, let me show you guys the, um, he's Master Streel on his other account. Okay. Um, let me show you guys real quick the voiceover thing. So this, this took me a while to find. I had to scroll through a lot of posts that Blizzard made at some point on their blog. So here it is. So this is from September 8th, 2016. So I was looking very specifically for these. New follower detected. Update. A host has connected to the Hollow feed. A new subscriber has been acquired. Resubscription confirmed. These are awesome, right? The problem is I lost the source file. And uh, yeah, I had to look for it. So it's not in the StarCraft 2 section on their website. It's in the Heroes of the Storm section. There's an Alarak one as well, which is a little bit more condescending. Here's, for example, one of the tip notifications for Alarak. Mm. I expected so much more. <laughs> to be fair, that's pretty great. Yes, yes, yes. Just as I deserve. <laughs> oh, you are now in my service. Oh, your dedication will be rewarded. Yeah, that's John Delancey. Someone's mind is blown whenever I bring this up. Whenever Alarak comes up in any conversation, I like to let everyone know that this is John Delancey, who also plays Q in Star Trek, and a whole lot of other stuff. But, uh... Same voice actor. Or, well, actor, I suppose. Alarak would make a great streamer. I think if John Delancey were to do streams and, you know, voices and everything, he would do very well. Yeah. Alright. Let's see. Is Mag ready? Like, okay, you open up the game for spectators. Um, I would... The problem is that spectators... Um, in general, can lag the game. <laughs> Mac, you do realize I can read that, right? Mac is asking, is this game good for three wrecks? Quick. John Delancey voices John Delancey in real life. That's amazing. Doo -doo -doo. All right, guys, here we go. Mag playing a mind game. I'm assuming, anyways, it's a mind game. This is one of the most popular maps that we had. I want to say Heart of the Swarm era of StarCraft 2. They brought it back at a later time as well. 
So we had it at multiple phases of the game, but... Anyways, King Sejong Station. Anyone remember? It was a fun map. This map was weird, though, because it was very different than most of the other maps that we ever had. So it's got rocks right over here in the back of the natural, which open up to another base. But obviously, then you have a hole in your natural that, you know, might not be ideal if you're trying to defend. Anyways, am I concerned about Mech going for a triple Rex proxy? Maybe I should be, actually. Now that I think about it, I remember there's some nasty spots over here. I think I casted a game on this map not too long ago when for some reason, maybe this was like the Olima League or something? They decided to play on this map? Not exactly sure. A new subscriber has been acquired. It worked! Welcome and Vizzy. I got the ever so slightly different voice line than I've had on Twitch for a very long time. This is the first time I see this map, says Christian. Okay. Yeah, this map was very popular back in the day. Mostly because, like, basically the further you go back in StarCraft's history, the worse the maps were. Like, in hindsight, some of the maps looked really good. But this is one of the few maps that we played a long time ago that was actually, like, it would still hold up just fine in 2022. A lot of balancing is done as well through maps, so I don't really know exactly how these maps, you know, were to work out. If we were to have them on the ladder right now, but... I don't think this is gonna be some proxy shenanigans here. Mac just playing the mind games before the game even began. Way ahead of me, dude. Amazing stuff. Love to see that. Okay, I decided to go for a quick triple hatch opener. We require more minerals. Which should work out quite well, I think. Not a whole lot that Mac is going to be able to do about it. No Reaper. Okay, I was gonna say, there is something moving out there. I actually did not catch what that was. I saw something moving on the minimap. Hey, by the way, real quick, how is everything running on you guys' end right now on the stream? Does it look good? Are we running into any issues? Things looking smooth? Oh, it was a Reaper, okay. A new subscriber has been acquired. Ooh. Just imagine it says member, okay, rather than subscriber. I wasn't sure what to do with that. Looks good. All smooth? Okay, thank you, thank you. Did I make an overlord? Uh, <laughs> I don't know if I did. I guess my hatchery is kind of like a large overlord when you think about it. We'll be a new fine. subscriber has been acquired. I'm double dipping right now, man. Like... A lot of people that are subscribing on, or I guess becoming members on YouTube, are also subscribers on Twitch. This is kind of uh, some life hack that I figured out on accident. This wasn't really intended, but thank you guys. Mm -mm -mm. We'll get some safety structures as well. Just because I'm never entirely sure what people are gonna throw at me. Ah, uh, we'll play a little bit greedy though. A new little subscriber bit has been acquired. Hey, thank you, Nolan. Wait, Nolan, did you try subscribing earlier, but then you accidentally donated to Euro ninety nine instead? <laughs> Is that what just happened? Because you just had your name pop up on stream already. I'm not exactly... <laughs> I think something may have gone... Off the beat. No, it's fine. It's fine. I mean, it's fine for me anyways. I think I can actually already add new subscriber emotes as well. I have... Yeah, spent a bunch a of time setting everything over here. Required. but Or setting everything up right here on YouTube. Subbing here is a little bit cheaper, by the way. I set it up to be $2.99 rather than $4.99. There is also a $4.99 tier. I want to give some additional perks to that. But I have to still figure all of that out. Yeah. 
But I'll make sure to do so. Got a lot of queens, guys. Did I make a bailing nest? Probably should make a bailing nest, huh? I forgot how much distance there is between these bases. Oof. Main base feels incredibly far away. Hello, what are we doing? Oh, he went for a third CC and everything. An unseached tank, double upgrades. Okay. Mag is playing a game! Love to see that. I think Max said in the chat that they started playing last year. And apparently he's made it into Master League, which is pretty sick. How often are these streams? I plan on doing four-hour streams every Friday. As long as I can, anyways. Like, obviously, some days I might not be able, or some weeks, rather, I might not be able to do Fridays. Maybe I'll do them another day or something, but... Um, I think Fridays, in general, work pretty well. Normally, Fridays are... I think a good day to stream, plus usually on my personal schedule and stuff. We're not doing any other special things on Friday. Usually Friday is a little bit more chilled. So it's a perfect day for a YouTube stream, I think. Maybe. I don't know. <coughs> so I was talking a lot. So I'm actually late on my bailing speed upgrade, which is not great. Can't recommend. I do have a good set of upgrades. 1-1 one, one is done. And I've got a load of queens as well, so I should probably be okay. Ideally, we buy enough time for bailing speed to finish up, which is still like 45 seconds. I don't know. Instead, I'm going to try and set up some units over here. Big push coming across the map right now. I don't think I have to be in a too much of a rush, though. Looks like his rally point are set up over here. Oh, no. He's got a lot more. Okay, we're actually going to push. Yeah, a bit sloppy by me, but I think we'll be okay. Leave Brenda alone! Yeah, imagine if I had bailing speed done at the correct time. This would have all been a little bit cleaner. But, you know, we're playing Zerk, so we're OP anyways, right? So that's nice, I guess. Ooh. Jimmy and Mark over here, right at the front. Legends. Okay. Plus two, plus two is finishing up here in just a moment for me. Trying to create some chaos on the other side of the map. Just buying as much time as we can. I will thank everyone properly after this game, okay? Appreciate the support, though. It's really cool. Donation accepted. Well, maybe this base over here is not so bad. The, the center base is actually super hard to break on this map. What I should have done is got Burrow, I think. Burrow would have been really nice. Because I could block that expansion in the middle quite well. I don't have as many drones as I should have at this point. Yeah, he's actually gone for the base in the center.
Okay, sending those guys over here. Okay, done a lot of damage over there. <laughs> He's playing a good game, though. So planetary in the middle of the map is quite difficult to deal with, so that's why I decided to push a little bit more aggressively. He might still be able to get one up and running, though, in a sec. I do have Ultralisks now. Don't have full upgrades yet. Creep spread also looking quite mediocre. Yep, he's going for uh, a planetary fortress in the middle of the map right now. Nicely done. Okay. So I think most of this can be tra or traced back to the fact that I was late on my bailing speed upgrade. So that kind of slowed down a lot. But also that I never actually droned up very aggressively after that. So the first few minutes of this game went quite well. But the ones after that, not as, not as smooth. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and get that upgrade going. Mm, nice little army coming across. Gonna send some Zerklings to future bases that he might be able to take, just so I can block them. Oh, he knocked down the rocks over here. So I'm going to burrow a Zerkling here, and we're going to burrow a Zerkling over there. And I'll get all the extra tech right now that I might ever need. So this becomes rather tricky now, because how do I engage this, right? Like, what is my best way of engaging this? Um, one thing I can do is maybe send, like, a group of Zerklings around that perimeter. I can maybe send a couple Zerklings to start working on the rocks in the back of his natural. That might be a good idea. For the most part, I don't have that much. He's going Ultras? Or Ultras. Terran Ultralisks. Ghosts. <laughs> Luckily, I've got a load of Queens left over. Ultra's questionable at best, as always. <laughs> Making a couple extra banelings, just a uh, just a few, a sprinkle of banelings. Doesn't matter. He's dead anyways. Oh! <laughs> the, the rocks actually knocked down. Because of the, uh, I don't know, the Bailing explosion or something? Not 100% sure what happened there. GG. Just sprinkling in a few Bailings. I actually like watching this, uh, this cooking channel on YouTube. I think the guy's name is called Chef John from Food Wishes or something. Anyways, he always talks about just a touch of sugar, and then he dumps in, like, you know, five cups worth. Anyways, I think it's pretty funny. Just a couple banelings. Okay, then. Am I seeing this correctly? Uh, I don't know how this works. Has been acquired. 
okay, so hold up right now. We had a lot of support coming in during that one game. Well played, by the way, to Mac. That was really well done. You play better than uh, many people I see on the ladder, man. Good stuff. Um, a new subscriber has been acquired. Right, so I was wondering about this. Rumpus just gave 20 community subs, which is incredibly generous. Thank you for giving a 4.99 membership a to has been all of these people. But I was wondering how that worked. Would it just give it to random people? I'm not sure. Is it going to show all of those notifications individually? Yes, it does. <laughs> Thank you very much, Rumpus. Thank you also, Worm Superior, a actually. A $20 tip. Acquired. Says, Loco, I've been watching your videos for a while. Greatly enjoy what you do. Thank you, dude. Appreciate you. Thank you also, Burger Fox, Roba, Nolan, Gicho, Sanjon. And Sanjon as well with a $10 HK. Is that Hong Kong? A new subscriber I don't know. Has been acquired. I think so. Yes. That is one euro thirty right now. Thank you very much, Sanjon. Appreciate you. A new subscriber has been acquired. Um, I actually believe that on... This is what I've been told, so I'm not exactly sure if it's true. But I believe on YouTube, if you want to be giving a membership... Like, if you want to be one of the people that gets given a membership, if someone decides to share a bunch of them in the chat, I believe you have to, like, click a checkbox. A new subscriber has been but you can acquired. probably... Find out more about that easier than me trying to explain it to a you right now. I'm kind of new to this acquired. streaming thing on YouTube. You have to enable it, yeah? So how do you enable it? Does anyone know how you manually enable that? A new subscriber has been acquired. Thank you, Rumpus. Thank you also, Killman and Fakes, for the subscriptions. This is a chain a reaction of subscriber subscribers, yeah. Has been acquired. You have to enable it. You have to click the checkbox. Okay, I see. A new subscriber has been acquired. Ah, uh, okay, okay, okay. So this is how you do it. You click on the subscription box thing. A new subscriber thing. has been acquired. I think on the little money icon in the bottom right. And then you... My god, it's in a drop-down menu right over there. A new subscriber has been acquired. Interesting. That seems a little extreme, but fair enough. <laughs> a new subscriber has been acquired. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Man, there's a lot of support coming in. Okay, again, for those of you just now tuning in, I'm playing against viewers. Has been acquired. I'm playing against viewers. So if you would like to play a game against me on Daybreak LE... Come on to a the European server. Has been acquired. Come on to the European server, Group Loco TV. And get the trivia question right. Well, first person to get it right. Has been acquired. Mm -mm 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 -mm. I think there's one more. Actually, no, Taryn's also just became a member. So a there's going to be two more notifications. Has been acquired. <laughs> one more. Thank you very much. All right. A new subscriber has been Feel free acquired. to play along as well in the chat, by the way. This one, this one you guys should know because, well, you're quite literally part of this poll. You ready? What unit, according to a poll of my or on my YouTube community tab, is the most powerful unit in the game currently? <laughs> Jesu got it right. The local community voted that apparently the ghost is overpowered. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know if I agree, but they are certainly pretty good. Up against Jesu. Jesu actually played in the local viewer tournament as well recently. We're playing only good people today. Dude, I'm going to get destroyed by Jesu. Jesu is actually really good. Master one. Loco, what's a ghost? They hide in your closet and under your bed, but only at night. And then suddenly, you hear, Tactical nuke detected. It's a bit dangerous. Alright, Daybreak. This is also an old school map. <clears throat> mm -mm 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 
It's nuclear launch detected. You're right. You're right. Orbius is right. Casper? Casper is kind of OP. <laughs> now, ghosts are basically the Terran MOBA unit, okay? Like, you know how a lot of MOBA players are like, eh, I don't want to play StarCraft 2. It's too difficult. I want a micro one unit instead. Well, when you think about it, the ghost really is a MOBA unit. It's got Snipe as its Q ability. It's got EMP as its W ability. It's got a passive cloak. I mean, I guess you have to activate it, but it's essentially a passive. It's really popular in MOBAs. And then it's even got an ultimate. With the tactical nuke. Mm -mm -mm. Do we have a bot in the chat? I don't think we have a bot in the chat, but we do have Mugetsu. Mugetsu Gabriel, or I think actually his YouTube nickname is Darth Gabriel. Uh, he is uh, basically here the entire time. So, for all intents and purposes, a bot. A bot made out of flesh and blood. <laughs> How do you do, fellow humans? He says he's not a bot. Mm, I don't know, man. I don't know if I believe him. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Um, on Twitch, we usually... Like, we do have loco bot on Twitch. That took a while to set up, though. I don't know if you really need a bot right here on YouTube at this point, but... Um, might not be a bad idea to look into that. But again, this is only the second ever YouTube stream I've done, so... I, uh... Yeah, I don't want to get too carried away right now. Donation accepted. David Kim? Look, I know David Kim is a very common name, okay? But, uh, thank you for the... 3901? I don't know, I think that's... I think that's one, right? I'm not sure. Whenever I read the name David Kim, though, as a StarCraft fan, I immediately assume... It was the lead multiplayer designer for StarCraft 2 years ago. Might not be the same David Kim. Maybe it is. It's actually kind of funny. Thank you, by the way, for the support. I don't know if this was ever intended by Blizzard, but years ago, David Kim was the one who was in charge of designing balance, right? And leading the balance design for multiplayer. And essentially what it came down to, while it may have been a fun position to apply for at some point, Whenever someone had any issues with the game, they would always blame David Kim. They would always be blaming David, even though he had probably nothing to do with the change or the problem that they ran into. Essentially, anything David did would make people dislike him. Because by default, say he would nerf Zerk, the Zerks would be upset. If he would buff Terrence, the Protals and the Zerks would be upset. Like, basically, anything David did was always... yeah. Viewed in a negative light. And these days, actually, I don't know if that is coincidence or not, but I believe in Blizzard games, they don't have someone like that anymore at the company who's, like, very obviously the face of balance in any of their games. Which, you know, is probably a good idea, right? Because, uh... I think David did a pretty great job, but... A lot of community members immediately blamed all their losses on David Kim. Um, I want to grab a third base. It was a little bit tricky. So this is Daybreak. Daybreak was not a very popular map in the early days of StarCraft. Okay, he's gonna see my third base here in a moment for the first time. Hmm? I don't know if he's seen it yet. Ok, 
Gonna go ahead and get some blind spore crawlers as well, just in case. And I snuck out a couple roaches, as you may have already noticed, but I didn't want to say it out loud, just in case my opponent was listening. <laughs> you never know! Come here! Come take out my, my beautiful... Yeah, yeah. Oh, I didn't want to come take out my beautiful overlord. Bit of a shame, really. Did lose a bunch of drones at home in the meantime, but... Dealt a good amount of damage, but I actually did not keep the main base controlled. He's actually managed to uh, stay alive here. Oh, what? He just... Okay. He just upped his own supply depot. Don't know if that was the smartest move, but... Okay, um, gotta be a little bit careful, but we're obviously in a very nice spot. Haven't won the game yet, though. My creep spread in the meantime was obviously suffering, because I was busy attacking. Loco, I've been here for 30 minutes and you haven't mentioned hitting the like button yet? It's a good point. Guys, make sure to smash like, subscribe, tell your mom about my live stream. Just text her. Let grandma know. Loco's life, Loco's life. Just let her know, okay? That'd be great, thank you. No, it's okay. If you want, you can hit the like button. It actually does help. I know it's very obnoxious, okay? I personally cringe a little bit whenever YouTubers ask about, you know, hitting the like button and all that. It bothers me when YouTubers ask at the very start of a video if I can hit the like button. It's like, dude, I don't even know what I'm watching at this point. Like, I think I've done that as well in the past, but it's kind of, yeah, it's not, it's not great. I don't like it. Don't hit Brenda! Don't even think about it. Gotta shoot your shot. Yeah, true. But yeah, it really does make a difference. That's why uh, I also gen uh, generally ask people to hit the like and subscribe button and all that. Because uh, basically it measures how much interaction there was on that particular video. Or, you know, a bit of content and then... From there, it determines how many other people are going to be shown that content. So if there's a lot of interactions on a video, it seems to recommend it more to other people too. So it's quite a big deal. Okay. I think he's coming in for a big push, guys. Let's see... Got a good bit of creep spread. I think what I do is just make as many banelings here as possible. Oh, we really don't need that base. I could probably try and hold it, but why? I'm gonna burrow some zerklings in future locations where he might expand.
there's a couple different spots where he could expand. So, just trying to be annoying. Could maybe sneak out one base over there. If he wants to fight me, he's gonna come a little bit further. He's gonna have to come a little bit further off creep. Or on creep, I guess. From his perspective. He's gonna have to move a little bit further. Oh, he's going back home. Interesting. Uh, I'm just about to finish up 1-1 one -one upgrades. He's sending out a medevac full of units right now. If that's the case... Got a lot of banelings there. Yeah, I don't think I like my baneling clump there all too much. It's not my favorite thing, anyways. Whew, okay, that was still a pretty good detonation. Maybe I can even clear out some of those siege tanks that are still located over there. Tried to save him, but he didn't get him. So he must be bleeding out at this point, right? Like, my main base is running very low. If mine is running low, his is also running low. And with it, also the natural. So I'm fairly sure, since I haven't seen a third command center, that his current plan is just to go for one big push. And if I can choose where that fight happens, I'll go with creep. There's not another base on this map, right? I don't think there is another base. Oh, okay. You can take out that expansion, dude. Although, to be fair, I might just want to go over there, too. Oh, no, 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 no! <laughs> I don't think running in uh, the Banelings was ideal. GG. Okay, alright, alright. A little bit messy, but we got there. <sighs> Thank you, Lemon, for the $2 donation. He says, Overlord Otto von Zerkmark. Well said. I appreciate you. Thank you, Sun John, as well, for the 10 Hong... Uh, what is this? Hong Kong dollars? I don't know what the currency is called. Am I... All right. 10, 25, and then 50. Are they... Is it is it dollars? I mean, it's got the dollar sign. I guess so. Where am I from? I'm from the Netherlands. I live in the Netherlands. I'm Dutch. Mm -mm -mm. I don't execute when I have the advantage. Um, I think we won the game. <laughs> Here's the problem, man. You can actually see. So I see someone saying in the chat, Loco, you have to execute when you have the advantage. Um, I think they're probably referring to me not playing aggressive enough. And that's fine. Here's when I did get aggressive, though. Fighting off creep into sieged up tanks. I mean, this was a pretty poor engagement by me, but it's uh, it's dangerous. Usually, especially with Zerk, if you can scout if they're taking a future base, and if they're not taking a future base, you know that you can take the next fight on creep, you know, because they're coming towards you. So if they're coming towards me, why would I go fight off creep? They're called Hong Kong Dollars? Okay, okay. Mm -mm 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 -mm. You have an amazing Dutch uncle? Nice, I guess. <laughs> I mean, all Dutch people are amazing, right? I believe that's how that works. Yeah, I was doing an excellent job fighting. So that opponent was Masters 1. So we're not playing terrible, guys. We're doing actually quite decently. I uh, haven't played a lot of ladder over the last couple of months. I mean, we have played a bunch, but not as much as I usually do. Next game, Ohana LE. Again, if you guys want to play, I'm on the European server in Group Loco TV. And if you want to get invited, all you need to do is get the correct answer to a trivia question.
Do, 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 do. I'm going to be writing the trivia question in the in-game chat as well. So if you are... Yeah, internet is not quite as good. Maybe that will do. Mm -hmm. Alright, here we go. What is the name of the Infestor Energy Upgrade that increases the unit's starting energy by 25? Pathogen Glance? Okay, Orbi has got it, but I, I'm gonna invite someone who's not already played, okay? I'm sure, I'm sure you understand. You can still play along, but I'm gonna invite someone else if you don't mind. The Demonic. Man, look at this. All my viewers today are like... Diamond League Plus. Very nice. Is this just the average loco viewer? The average loco viewer is just... Yeah. It's called the energy juice upgrade? No, no. Pathogen Glance. Pathogen Glance is indeed the energy upgrade. It's something you learn in caster school, okay? In caster school, you have to say, a Roach upgrade, and you're like, Glyo Reconstitution, sir! Zerkling speed upgrade, metabolic boost! Energy upgrade for ravens, Corvette reactor! Like, this is, this is what we do. Okay, maybe not. No, 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 I said Corvette reactor, Chet. It's a pun, because it's a raven? And the ravens are in the Corvette... Th anyway. Good luck to me, have fun to you, is what the demonic says. Very nice. It's good on Rushy. It's happening, Papooch. Welcome, welcome. Loco, in the States, we have a saying called going Dutch. It means you're splitting the bill on a date. I've had that exact question many times before. Is that a common thing in the Netherlands? Uh, if you don't want a second date, it's a great strategy. Probably not ideal. But there are definitely people that do that, yes. Um, we're up against, uh, I think he was Diamond League, High Diamond Protoss, right? Do I split the bill with my girlfriend? I mean, we've been living together for a long time, and we've been get together for such a long time at this point, that doesn't really matter. We, more we, we went out to dinner actually a couple days ago, chat, now I've, you know, I did pay, yes. Amazing, isn't it? So chivalrous of me. I do actually pay most of the time, yeah. I don't know. It's not really, uh... Ooh, what are we doing? Hello? Where were we going with that? Oh, okay. I do not trust this. That probe stuck around for a little bit too long. Maybe... Okay. Never mind, guys. No reason to panic. This is fine. We're actually coming up on like seven years in a couple weeks time. She's been putting up with me for like seven years. Imagine that. Imagine having to put up with my stuff for that long. <laughs> Respect to her. Don't know exactly how to wall on this map. Oh, right. Yeah, that's the downside of playing older maps. I'm not going to do a Zirkling Rush. R rush up, r r rush. <laughs> Monka S is not an emote on YouTube, demonic. Wow, dude. Here come the Zerklings. They're coming. Okay, fine. I'm going to leave them over here. These maps are a little funky, man. There's rocks over here that basically create an extra way for me to get my third base. 
connected? I, I don't know. It's, I don't like it. <laughs> hey, by the way, we're playing on Ohana. <laughs> Did you guys know? Man, that would have been a way better trivia question. Back when this map was commonly played in StarCraft 2, every caster had to remind you every three seconds that Ohana means family. Ohana means family, guys. This had to be said every single time you casted a game. On Ohana Ellie. Ooh, did the moderators actually come in helpful? Because there was a spam bolt in the chat. Well, would you look at that. Gape. I mean, Darth Gape. I mean, Gape bot. Got him in a heartbeat. Didn't even hesitate. Moderation powers right away. Amazing work. Yeah, there's deep lore on this map. We have a lot of StarCraft lore, actually. Um, I am not really playing the game very well, though, guys, if I'm talking this much, which is a bit of an issue. It's fine, I guess. Again, we're playing Zerk. Do you really even need to pay attention if you're playing Zerk? Didn't think so, either. Um, hmm. Thank you very much, by the way. Not cool. For the $10 tip. Appreciate you. Okay, so there's no flying units in this game. Haven't seen any cloak units yet either. They would show up right around five minutes. No, a little bit sooner than that if he rushes them out. So they could already be here. Because of that, I'm going to make the assumption that that is not happening either. So what is happening? Okay, it's just going for a third base. I see. I did check the top of the ramp, but his wall was actually correct, which is kind of nice. There's a watchtower on his site, right over here. It's kind of funny. Like, we don't we don't usually see watchtowers anymore in the middle of maps in 2022. Oh, what's going on here? We require some more overlords. We require more. Zachary the Zealot is coming over here. Got to save the Zorkling. Do you think naming units is a bad habit? Oh, he's got Blink. Or, what's it called? <laughs> he's got Zealot Blink. They didn't teach me that upgrade in Caster School. The Zealot Leg Enhancement. I think that's what it's called. Okay, so I decided to play really greedy here with double upgrades, as well as double tech. Which is going to be pretty good if it pays off, but... Sometimes you end up losing the game to a pretty strict two-base attack or something like that. But I figured, judging off of the timing there of his third base, we'd probably be fine. Definitely need to have a couple of these. And the fourth hatchery is mostly going to be just a macro base for now. As in, like, something that we use for larva. But obviously, I can drone it if I want to. We can drone if we want to. Do -do 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 -do. Donation accepted. Hey, thank you. I have no idea what currency that is. M Y R. But I've got 15 of them. Let's go. I don't know why I went for the wrong upgrade. Malaysian ring it. I see. Alright. Yeah, I would not have guessed that. I'm sorry. Why is there a drone in my army? Why is there an observer following my every move and why am I allowing it? 
I've got so many questions, guys. Do you think he saw my army on the watchtower? We require more Vespine gas. Not enough energy. Where's his army? He must have more than just what I'm seeing, right? Oh, he never knocked down those rocks? Okay, there is his army. Donation accepted. I don't really like rolling my units into Archons, I'll be honest with you. I don't think that's great. This might be a little bit better. I did lose most of my units at this point. <laughs> He's dancing his zealots. <laughs> I got more MYRs. Malaysian ring it. Thank you very much. Garagat Z and Burger Fox. Hey, this I didn't expect from doing YouTube streams, though. We get to learn about currency trivia, apparently. I didn't know that this was a thing, but pretty cool. Mm -mm -mm. What's going on, Mana? Good to see you in the chat. How are you doing today? Mana actually has been making a bunch of uh, StarCraft videos lately as well, guys. Do recommend checking out his videos. Where's my cat? <laughs> I get that question quite a bit, man. I feel like people just expect me to just pull my cat from underneath the desk and be like, ta-da. Yeah, they don't like, no, they, they, you know, they have very strong wills. They Donation have, yeah, accepted. very strong opinions about themselves. Thank you, Underful. Loco, what is your favorite spell? My favorite spell? Wingardium Leviosa. Probably not what you're referring to. My favorite spell in StarCraft 2? Uh, I don't know. What is the most fun spell that StarCraft 2 has? Like, the strongest spell is something, something else, right? The strongest spell is probably, like, Parasitic Bomb or, like, Storm or EMP, like something something that, that has AoE. Nukes are pretty fun, yeah. Nukes definitely are a pretty fun spell. <laughs> I mean, it kind of depends as well on the definition of spells, because technically speaking, Widow Mines are considered spellcasters too. Which I don't think anyone would consider them wizards. Microbial Shroud. Microbial Shroud is definitely the best spell. I agree. All right, next up, we're gonna be doing a game on Habitation Station. Dude, I'm getting some nostalgia from these maps. This is the Void edition of this campaign? Wait, what? When did we usually play Habitation Station? Was it, was it Heart of the Swarm? I don't even remember. Uh, Habitation. Yeah, there was a Habitation Station version as well. We're gonna go with this one. This is the original. Alright, if you guys wanna play European server group loco TV. The first person to get the answer to the trivia question right will get invited into the game. This one's easy. This one's easy. I think. I mean, all the other ones were guessed within about five sec no, not even five seconds, like half a second as well. What is the final mission in Wings of Liberty called? All in. Orbius is good, dude. Orbius is very good. But Orbius is already played. We're up against Zero Grim. Do I want to play a game with... I don't know what rank he is. I have no idea how good Zero Grim is. I'm going to play a game with Protoss. I would like you all. 
Thank you very much, Duke. Welcome, welcome. I would like to let you all know that I have not played a game with Protoss in 1v1 in probably about half a year. This might not be a bad idea, or a great idea. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. We'll be fine. Just make a wall loco. All right, he's ratty. Loco, just make Protoss units. That's a great bit of advice, Bonan, but he's also Protoss. So normally that would be a game-winning decision, right? Just make Protoss units. But... Do I even... <gasps> Is this what it means to do a Heart of the Swarm map? Because we started with six probes. <laughs> Zero has not pointed out any of that yet. Uh, okay. Do I... St I don't know if I have the right things. This, this may very well accidentally be now a Heart of the Swarm game as well. With like Heart of the Swarm tech and everything. Is there a way that I can check that at this point in the game? We can obviously see it later, at later times, I guess, but... <gasps> THERE'S A MOTHERSHIP CORE! A new subscriber has been acquired. Hey, thank you, Gigazzi. There's a mothership core. Okay, this is not what I meant. Uh, just FYI, this is the HOTS version, apparently. That's, by the way, the correct abbreviate, or, or, what do you call that? Capitalization of H-O-T-S. Just so you guys know. None of this, like, H-O-T-N- No, that's not okay. That's not okay. I don't know the difference. Oh, okay. I do not remember build orders from Heart of the Swarm, believe it or not. Especially not for Protoss. <laughs> so this thing... The Mothership Core was something that Blizzard added to the game because basically Protosus were struggling in the early game. And rather than making the Protoss units in the early game better, they decided to just add a new unit. <laughs> Which really is like, it's the sickest Band-Aid ever, okay? Rather than fixing Protoss early game, they were like, smack a Band-Aid on it. You can barely even notice. Yeah, that wasn't the greatest addition that they've ever made, but it's okay. Uh, should I make a z I don't know. I think I'm gonna make a zealot. Do I make a pylon as well? Actually, I'm not gonna make a zealot because otherwise I hit a supply block. So now I'm gonna pretend that I did not hit a supply block and that I this is all going well according to plan. Now we have shield batteries. Yeah, shield batteries are fun though. The mothership core is not so fun. So 100 minerals, 100 gas. Okay. I think this is a fine opener actually. Ooh, what's... Guys, what's going on here? I don't know what's going on here. Maybe he's trying to spell something with pylons. At least he's not supply blocked. Okay, I'm making my mothership core. I think shield batteries are pretty fun, yeah. It's actually kind of funny how, like, StarCraft 1 had a lot of those things really nicely organized. Like, they tried reinventing a lot of... Did I just misplace that? I think I did. They tried reinventing a lot of units with StarCraft 2. And for some, it worked out pretty well. For example, I think that this Ruptor is pretty sick compared to the Reaver. But... There's no denying that the, uh, the Mothership core is not ideal. You like the, the thumbnail I made for today's live stream? I actually made two. I'll show you the second one here in a moment after the game. If I don't forget. What am I going to play, guys? Uh, 
Did I forget a pylon on a low ground? I think my mothership core thought that was a pylon. The group name is Loco TV. Yes, just type slash join Loco TV in one of the chat channels on the European server, and it should bring you straight over here. Is there anything else different in the Heart of the Swarm edition that we did not have in... Oh, I, I should probably have been working. Um, that we did not have. So Tempest were already there. Oracles, I think, were introduced then as well, right? We don't need that. We don't need that either. I don't remember. It's kind of funny. We played this version of the game for years. And for some reason, I just don't recall. Oh yeah, the Hydras were really sick back then. Hydras were really awesome, actually. Maybe a little bit of Zerk bias there. I don't recall. Hey, there it is. Unintentional pun. I mean, I totally intended on that pun. I'm just that funny. Thank you, thank you. Make sure to like, subscribe. Tell your mom. No, Vortex was no longer in the game at this point. Vortex was removed before this. I'm pretty sure. I hope so. Man, just just starting with six workers makes the game so much slower, right? Like we've normally we get to this point at like the f I don't know four minute mark. No, maybe five. You basically spent the first part of the game just making probes, getting up to the twelve worker count. Hello. Okay, may have gotten a little greedy with the amount of workers I was picking up. I'm gonna pick up a stalker too. Okay, that may not have been ideal. So there's no shield batteries or anything like that. Oh yeah, the clock is ticking in blizzard seconds, you're right. This is not conventional seconds. Ah uh, yeah, I'm gonna be doing weekly YouTube streams for the foreseeable future. <laughs> like I already had decided on that and then Twitch yesterday made some announcements that I don't entirely agree with. That I don't think are a great idea for the platform in the long run. And uh, yeah, I figured it might be a good idea to definitely do weekly YouTube streams for at least a, at least a while. I really enjoyed them. Last week went really well. A lot of people seem to like them too, so if you guys enjoyed them. I definitely would like to keep doing them. Get a mama ship. Yeah, like the changes they've announced basically make it um, harder for the biggest streamers on the platform to reliably stream there. So essentially, like for me, it doesn't matter. Like I, I, you know, I'm not cool enough. My my channel is not big enough on Twitch. So for me, it doesn't change anything. But I think for the short term, it might look good in there quarterly reports, but in the long term, I'm pretty sure it's gonna cost them quite a bit. And they've been making some questionable decisions in general that I don't think are a great idea for the platform moving forward. But, Anyways, YouTube streaming is getting better and better and better, right? Like, uh, quality over here, for example, is 
way nicer, like the video quality that is, like the quality of the stream. Which I think looks really nice. I might want to make some other units. Got so many phoenixes. Maybe I got a little carried away, guys. 17 phoenixes is not ideal. I guess I can pick up his stalkers now. Mott's actually doing work here? <laughs> you sound surprised. Look, I roast my moderators a lot. But they're actually, you know, they're actually really cool. Don't tell them too frequently, though. If they, if you tell them all the time, you know, at some point, or they think they run this place, and then suddenly, before you know it, I have nothing to say anymore, but, uh... I've actually had the same group of moderators for literally years. We have a very small group of mods, actually, on Twitch. Compared to some other channels. But the people that are the mods are actually, uh... Yeah, many of them have been literally there for, like... Five plus years. Loco, can I get a 100% pay raise? Sure. Guys, I don't know if he's going to move out. I think he's going to move out with a bunch of units here in a second, but... Okay. How do you move around so fast? Uh, these are camera hotkeys. That seems to be the most confusing thing for players. This over here... Sorry, that looks very trippy. Um, but they're camera hotkeys. So I have a camera hotkey for the center of my main nexus, one for the natural and then one for the third. Actually super helpful. Highly recommend setting up. It takes a while to get used to. But say, for example, there's a drop in my main base. I always know that F1, which is my camera hotkey for the first base, is going to be right in the center of the main. And uh, it's quite a bit faster than clicking the minimap or like hitting the base camera hotkey. It took me a while to get used to, but... Yeah, it makes a big difference once you are used to it. Oh yeah, no, they're great as well for co-op. Honestly, they uh, they are a thing in most RTS games, but I don't think a lot of RTS games or a lot of RTSs do a good job explaining the rules to you about the. But yeah, if you have any questions about it, let me know. He's coming, guys. I have a Mothership Core, yeah, we accidentally got the wrong version of the game. <laughs> mothership Core is so silly. Get him, boys! Slow him down! A new subscriber has been acquired. Ah, I left faster than he could. Got him. <clears throat> Thank you very much, Stormtag. Appreciate you. You love the baby mama ship? It's a fun idea, and when they first added it, it was pretty cool. But, yeah, it's pretty bad. It's pretty bad. I don't think it was a great idea. Loco so bad. I left the game. I did. I was defeated. Alrighty. Oh yeah, I was gonna show you guys my second thumbnail. So this is the thumbnail I went with today. <laughs> it's really quite dumb. Uh, anyways, this is what I do for a living. If someone asks what I do for a living, just show them this picture. I literally stood here in this room. <laughs> anyways, I made another one as well for today, but it didn't really work. I thought it was pretty fun, but... <laughs> Sadly, sadly, this was basically, like, it just looked like a weird version of Radar uh, when I uploaded it to YouTube. 
Because it's like super small, right? The little image is super tiny, so you couldn't really tell. Um, I spent like half an hour on this one. Because it's actually pretty good. The only problem is you just couldn't tell. How much time did I spend on these? Probably like 45 minutes on these two. I would say that it's well worth it. 100% worth it, yes. With long hair, I look like Keanu Reeves. <laughs> I'll take that as a compliment. Sure. Sure. I'll take that as a compliment. <clears throat> Kanye Reeves is one of the best actors, right? <clears throat> Sorry, I have to say that just to trigger a couple viewers. It's important. Um, let's see. Ah! Next game. We're gonna be playing on a map called Newkirk Precinct. Is that even how you spell the map name? I don't know. I googled, like, most popular StarCraft 2 maps. Historically. How do you- how do you spell Precinct? Did I not do it right? Oh, there's two C's in precinct. Okay, look, in my defense, I, you know. All right, next question. If you want to play European server group loco TV, first one to get it right will be invited into the lobby. Next question. Here we go. How much in Vespian gas and in minerals? How much does one bailing cost? Assuming you have the structures built. Yorono got it. It's 50 minerals, 25 gas. <laughs> no, it's not 25, 25. Because you got to calculate in the cost of the Zerkling too. Ah, this was a trick question, dude. I'm like your high school teacher now. Like, you fools, you got it wrong. I tricked you. Ah, oh, man, I feel so clever. <laughs> It's 175, 200. Agreed. Agreed. Dude, we're up against Yorono. Yorono's really good at the game too, man. Are you gonna play Terran? All right. Yorono's gonna play Terran? I'll play Zerk. Remember or remind me to never take Loco's course. What do you mean, dude? Mm -mm 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 -mm. All right, Yorono, the winner of viewer tournaments, plural. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I hope he can destroy me. Yeah, that would be fun. So when Yorono played in the viewer tournaments, let's just say he likes playing spicy strategies, okay? And I mean that in the nicest sense of the word. But back when Void Rays were a little bit strong, Yorono was the kind of guy who was making Void Rays with shield batteries right over here on the edge of your main base. You know what I mean? Um, I might not want to give him the... I don't know. I was going to say, I, I might not want to give him the pacing of the game. <laughs> Spicy is one way to put it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I do like the cheese, yes. I like watching cheese. I like seeing other people get cheesed. I like eating cheese. I don't enjoy getting cheese as much. It's a weird verb, by the way. Anyways. Yeah, yeah, we're doing pool first. Let's go down Dr. Wine. 
Thank you for the two euro tip. We require more minerals. Loco complete the cycle. Cheese him. I've also seen him play a bunch of macro though. Like maybe it's not entirely fair. Do some Bly level nonsense. Bly actually just qualified for a tournament, which is pretty cool. He mentioned he hadn't been playing in months. But uh, he managed to qualify regardless, which is really nice. Thank you, Dr. Wine. I was born in the cheese. I do live pretty close to Gouda, which a lot of you would pronounce as Gouda. It's a city in the Netherlands. I do live pretty close. Yeah, Bly hasn't been playing a lot of StarCraft lately. He, of course, lives in Ukraine. But uh, he did just qualify for a tournament again, which is pretty cool. I'm doing a build that I recently saw in a video. I don't know if that's a great idea. Is this video up yet on the channel, actually? I don't know. Hey, Reaper guy. How are you doing, Reaper guy? Okay, we're drawing behind it. No, actually, I think that's tomorrow's video. This is just uh, a worse version of that build, because I've never actually looked at the exact build. <laughs> oh, yikes. That's a very fast siege tank. What is this? All right, then. Well, I guess I'll make my uh, walk of shame all the way back home. Yikes, man. Don't tell my family. That was embarrassing. No, I prepared uh, tomorrow's video in advance. I don't think I... Uh, no, I've not made a thumbnail and stuff for it yet, but... It's actually my grandma's birthday today. She's having a little birthday party tomorrow. I was like, fine, grandma. All right. I thought it was your birthday last year. You're saying it's your birthday again? Ugh. I know. We must place that on creep. <laughs> You've had so many. Stop hoarding all the birthdays, Grandma. I do not like this position in the game at all. Now I'm uncomfortable. Someone clip that and send it to his grandma. It's okay, my grandma doesn't speak English. <laughs> um, do you reckon Zerkling speed is a good upgrade? Do you think it's important at all? Nah, right? Nah. Ah, uh, go home! Yeah, I don't want to get your wheels dirty. Agreed. Why am I going two lairs? Could someone explain that to me? Did you guys know that when you have two lairs, 
upgrades that are at layer tech, like for example, Glio Reconstitution, Road Speed, actually research twice as fast if you have two layers. Okay, that was a lie. That was a complete lie. I, sorry. Did you believe me though? Some of you believed me, didn't you? That would actually be kind of cool. Double lair would actually be a sick build. Um... Is this Yorono just playing a good old macro game? I think Yorono has basically made it it's made it him uh, or his, his own personal mission now. Since I mentioned in a bunch of viewer tournaments that he likes cheesing quite a bit, I think he's almost made it his personal mission to show everyone that he's not a cheeser. Which is kind of some 700 IQ stuff. Oh my god. Oh, okay. okay. I'll leave! Hello! Could've just asked. Yeah, we're in a really bad spot here, guys. I've got a feeling what's going to happen in this game is my opponent is going to march across the map and we lose. Uh, maybe not. I do not like these rocks over here. What if he drops a bunch of siege tanks in that location? What would I actually do if he drops a bunch of tanks over here? Cry? I think I would cry. It's not a great strat. So he's not doing much of anything. We require a creep tumor is under attack. Mineral field depleted. A green tumor is under attack. We require more resting gas. Okay, he's just sieged up. Yeah, this early game is going to cost me, guys. He's got a lot of army. Pretty bad position for me. Now there is a chance, of course, that that was a complete two basil in from him. Or sorry, three basil in. But I'm a little concerned that there is another base over there at the, what is that, like 10 o'clock position-ish?
Okay. At least we didn't lose yet, I guess. That's that's not bad. Problem is as well that this army of mine is gonna fall off pretty bad as the game progresses. So I'm gonna need some some good fungals now in order to obtain the victory here. Gonna be kind of tricky. Okay, he took the center base. Ooh, that's a tricky one. So he's got that one taken in the middle. There's probably a planetary fortress there. Nicely done by him. Think we are dead. I don't think Roach Ravager was a great idea for this map, guys. There's so many choke points. That I don't really see how I'm going to be able to engage properly here. Those siege tanks are having a grand old time. Look at that massive army coming across. Oh, sadly he's still at a room. That could have been the beginning of something. <laughs> okay, so he has four bases at most. I should have probably transitioned towards Lurkers. I don't know why I didn't. I don't think right now I can really do so. I can give it a try, but... need to max out again first. Hello? Yikes. That was a really poorly engaged <laughs> fight right there for me. The Infester was on the wrong control group. Which meant I was trying to corrosive ball with an Infester. Cannot recommend. Gave it a try just now so you don't have to. You're welcome. Yeah, I picked the wrong unit composition, played the wrong build in general here. <laughs> His entire army is inside of those planes. If only I had a couple more. Did I ever put down? No. We require more minerals. This is a very nice concave for me. 
I think this is basically the best type of fight I'm gonna get, but I might not have enough stuff. Yeah, so this is where you can tell that plus three plus three upgrades for me. He was at plus three plus two at that point. Just do not cut it anymore. Like that would have been a fantastic upgrade at two two. But it gets uh Yeah, but if uh, it gets a little bit worse moving forward. Geometry is important guys, but sometimes upgrades matter. You know what's even better than geometry? <laughs> Upgrades. GG. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, my early game was very sloppy. And because of that, <clears throat> what did he play though? Because he had a siege tank super early on in that game. I'm actually curious what his build was there in the beginning. Because I went for a roach push and he had a siege tank very early on. He probably figured I was going to do something cheeky. <laughs> Tank Rush is not really a build, though. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he goes straight tech lap right here on the, uh, the factory, but delays the starport. So this is the point where the Reaper gets into the base. Then he starts up the uh, the siege tank. Fair enough, fair enough. Ba -da -ba 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 -ba. Look at why do you drink so loud? <laughs> Am I drinking loudly? I'm sorry, man. Mm. I thought a little bit of ASMR mid-cast would not be a bad idea. But... I see. Fine, then. No, 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 no. There's no way he was cheating. He played a good game. Um, okay. Next up. Gonna be doing, I think, like, two more. Yeah, like, two more. One few ones. And then we're gonna play a little bit of Free For All. Again, if you would like to join in, European server, Group Loco TV. You're more than welcome to join. Our next game has to, of course, be on Blistering Sands. Are we gonna do the novice edition of Blistering Sands? Blistering Sands is an old school, old school map. And with old school, old school, I mean bad. Mm. Alright. Our next question. So the first one to get it right in the in-game chat will be invited into the lobby. Our, ver or our very first question. You ready? What is the name of the unit that the Protoss Reaver shoots out? Orbius is just winning and winning and winning. You know what's funny, Orbius? I have done this exact same way before of, like, inviting people into the game. And I've had Australians complain that they couldn't get it done fast enough because their ping was too high. But I see Orbius winning time and time and time again despite the ping from Australia. Hmm. I am going to invite Valen though because Orbius has already played. <laughs> I'm just saying. Yeah, 300 ping sucks. I agree. 300 ping definitely is not my favorite thing to do. But it is what it is. You're going Goliaths first? Okay, okay. Thank you, Valen. Valen is rushing out Goliaths. <sighs> it's good on Mahogany. 
The Yorono family is out again. I just got beaten by Yorono in game on stream. I went for a cheeky opener and he scouted it and it was downhill from there. All right. I don't know how good Valen is. We're in Wings of Liberty mode. We're playing Wings of Liberty. Oh, you're right. I don't really want to be playing. <laughs> so that icon over here indicates whether or not we're playing. Okay, okay, hold up. Yeah, yeah. I would like to not play Wings of Liberty if that's an option. One second. Let me just rehost it real quick. So I have to set this to Legacy of the Void. But there is no blistering sense over here. Just novice blistering scent. What is this then? Unit statistics are set to StarCraft 2 Alpha gameplay states? <laughs> what? I, I don't know. <laughs> Alright, let's see. So this, I think, makes it a little bit better, but it's also going to be... I think it rocks all over the place. Might not be ideal. Might not be ideal. Mm -mm 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 -mm. How is it novice? So I think this is the addition where they added rocks over the map. So if you are a novice player, you would basically not get cheesed as hard. Because they, they put 2000 HP, 3 armor rocks everywhere. <laughs> What's going on, Alexander? Congrats on the 100k subs. Dude, thank you. But we just surpassed 500. Ah, it doesn't matter. Thank you very much. Yeah, so there's there's rocks everywhere. Oh! And this over here is no longer a ramp with rocks. This is a... Uh, hmm. I don't know if that's great. I don't know if that's a good idea. Novas equals training league? Yeah, 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 yeah. They basically added that at the beginning of the game. Oh, yeah, you're right. So if you were like on a new account, I think it told you that you needed to play Novas mode until you had played a certain amount of games. And then after Novas mode ended, you would finally play the real maps. So players would get used to playing Novice mode with rocks everywhere. And then as soon as they, you know, finish their Novice mode games, they would suddenly be faced off against people that are, do not have that. It, it's, it was probably not the best idea. It was a, you know, it was a nice gesture, but as soon as you made it past the uh, Novice stage, you would immediately get destroyed by people that do rush. Yeah, it was kind of fun. Hey, thank you, Be Believe, for the 499. This is this is back in like the very early days of StarCraft 2. Yeah, yeah, this is like literally like 2010, 2011. They uh they went back on that like literally a decade ago. Did you guys know that 2010 is more than a decade ago? Did you guys Like did you guys know that? I know. Weird, right? They also used to be a league called Copper League. Yes. You can count? Okay. Yeah, I can't. That's the th that's the problem. For some reason, 2010 does not feel like that long ago, but that's just probably because I'm old. Um, so I guess the Reaper can still go into my main base. Yeah. <laughs> the rocks actually are not a perk here, man. The rocks may actually just be a uh, a buff. Mm 
Listen to the wacky music. What? This is the music of the swarm, dude. The disrespect. Can't believe it. These are the songs of my people. <laughs> no! Come here! Brenda won't... <laughs> she wouldn't hurt you. Come on! Valen! No, Valen! How many in... Like, how many macro cycles do you think Valen has missed at this point? Just because he's busy staring at this reaper. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe none. Otherwise, it'd be well worth it, of course. I guess I'll go for a macro hatch? I don't know. I'm gonna have to break out of my base here eventually, but it's actually gonna be super tricky. I guess I can start using the queens for that? Hmm. I don't think the Nova's edition of this map is particularly great, guys. I know, controversial statement. <laughs> I don't think this map in general is particularly great. <laughs> this is so bad! <laughs> I can't get out of my base! In the meantime, you know, his units can fly, his structures can fly. Oh well. Yes! We more he could contain me like that pretty easy. Brenda, why are you attacking Zerklings? Surprise! How do you like it now? Whoa, he's got a battle cruiser, dude. <laughs> he's got a battle cruiser. Don't worry. Serral makes Mutas against battle cruisers, and I'm basically Serral, so I think we're good. Oh, he's got another one. He's dropping mules? To try and repair? Ambitious project. Not gonna lie. Can I make a move out of my base now? Please? I figured out a way to expand. Don't tell me there's rocks. Oh, there's rocks over there too. Why are there rocks everywhere? Okay, I think I'm dealing more I'm dealing more damage to his units than he did to mine. There's that Reaper. I gotta get revenge on that Reaper guy. Is that the battle cruiser that was on the other side of the map? 
No, this one doesn't have any kills. Okay, I was gonna say. <laughs> oh. We just pretend that we didn't care about that guy. Where's the other battle cruiser? <laughs> I was gonna say, there's still another guy out there somewhere. There's the Reaper. I got him, guys. No more dancing on the other side of the map. Oh, that hurts. Don't look at the Mutas. If you don't look at the Mutas, they didn't actually die. Oh, it's fine. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Don't panic. How much HP do rocks have in this exp- Oh my god, dude. This- These rocks seem to live forever. Well, they have 2k HP, yes, but they also have 3 armor. And that's the real strength. So for every attack... They take 3 less damage than they otherwise would. To be fair, rocks in real life are also kind of OP when you think about it. When's the last time you saw a rock getting bitten? And then, you know, somehow destroyed. Yeah, rocks are kind of OP. Agreed. <sighs> Alright, I'm gonna run through the bathroom real quick. I'll be back in just a minute. Don't go anywhere though. We're gonna play some more games. I think I'm gonna do one more one versus one. Actually, no. When I come back, we're gonna do a free-for-all battle royale. If you've already played, you're once again welcome to join in. I'll be hosting the game here in just a moment. I will play some most beautiful music though, while we wait. Very nice. Alright, I'll be back in a minute. Maybe, maybe two. We can do some Q&A in the meantime with Lenny.
Is that a cat? Maybe. He doesn't want to look at the camera today, guys. He doesn't want. He doesn't want to look at you. I'm sorry. Oh, you can't hear anything over the music. I didn't realize the music was that loud. Now there's two cats over here. <sighs> yeah, if you guys want to join in, I'm gonna do a free for all in a moment. European server group loco TV. I think we're gonna do the first come first serve method, where the first seven people or five people, or whatever, are gonna be the ones that get invited. Did they already leave? Did you guys see them leave? Because I didn't. They're not here, <laughs> so I guess they left. <laughs> Uh -huh. Donation accepted. Hey, Lucius. Lucius says, Lenny, some StarCraft 2 players said a 12 pool is too cheesy. Do you think it a fair strategy? That was directed to Lenny the link. Okay. All right. All right. Sorry. I won't be answering that then. Thank you also, Omar, for the three euro. Appreciate you. Hmm. I found this in the fridge. It's a protein shake type of thing. Oh, it says shake for 30 seconds. Ah, I'm too lazy. Anyways, if you guys want to join in, going to be doing a battle royale. It's been a long time since I've played that map, so... I believe it's this one. Okay, here we go. I am taking suggestions, by the way. If you guys have anything uh, that you would like me to stream on, on YouTube, if you have any, any suggestions of something you would like to watch, feel free to let me know. Also, you can, uh, if you're watching this later, you can leave a comment down below the video. I will try to read as many of those as possible. Last week's stream actually did really well, viewer-wise. I was not expecting that. I uh, figured that last week's stream would be kind of interesting, maybe, for some people, but there were a lot of views on that video. Yeah, kind of cool. Anyways. <laughs> You'd like to see CS go? No, 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 no. Serral versus Bronze Leaguers? We could do a holdout ch challenge. All jokes aside, I could definitely... Um, I could organize something. Noobs versus pros. We could do something like that. Might be fun. I could cast live games as well that are being played at the same time. Sarah versus Loco. That would just be embarrassing. <clears throat> Alright, here we go. I'm going to post the lobby link. So... You're basically inviting yourself. It looks like we've got room for five more people. Just click it. Oh god. I did not consider the observer situation. Um, if observers could leave, that would be awesome. <laughs> Sorry, observers. I don't want to... I don't want to kick you because that makes me seem like a... But anyways, if you could leave, that would be great. I am going to kick you otherwise. That's a lot of observers. True. There's still people joining as well. Just kick them, loco. Alright. Get out of here. Sorry. Didn't realize you could join as an observer after it was filled up. Okay, so what we're doing up next is a battle royale. <laughs> How are you guys <laughs> What we're doing next is a battle royale. Uh, a battle royale, for those of you unfamiliar, is one of those things where there's a circle that closes in on the center. Units that are caught outside of the circle die. Pretty uh, pretty self-explanatory, pretty easy. What am I going to play? I guess I'm going to play Zerk. Maybe I should play Protoss? I wonder what's best. Okay, so it's a free-for-all, right? So ultimately, we will be fighting over a very small area 
into center. Loco, it's unfair. My internet sucks. Is what status whispers me. I don't know if that is unfair, status. It might be a feature, dude. If your internet sucks, you'll probably be lagging the game for everyone. <laughs> Sorry, I don't want to be a jerk, but... <laughs> this might not be a bug. It, it's probably a feature. I think I think flying protos, dude, it sounds pretty good to me, man. Yeah, I think Terran in the middle is also really good. Alright, let's go. Mm -mm -mm -mm. No, so this is a nice version of a free-for-all where you'll be forced to get her. So otherwise, otherwise I'd obviously be uh, destroyed <laughs> within the first minute or so. Maybe I'm still gonna get destroyed within the first minute or so, I'm not sure. But. Let's see. So ATTX is actually a pretty well-known map maker. I actually casted a bunch of pro gamers doing this exact map some time ago. That was really fun. No rush 20? You guys will see. You'll, you'll see. You'll see how this map works in just a moment. I think teaming up is not a great idea. So there is a circle that will close in. And because of that, you have to be careful with where you're positioning your stuff. Because obviously if your base gets destroyed, that might not be ideal. Oh, yikes. Yeah, I feel like I'm getting targeted so hard. <laughs> so, okay. We have to all select our starting base right now. And then we'll go from there. I think Terran is probably best here, yeah. I remember Maru being really, ge uh, really good in this map. Okay. So, I don't know exactly when the circle starts moving, because I clicked on this earlier today, and I can't read that. <laughs> I tested this out before going live. I wasn't sure. I think it's made by uh, the Korean StarCraft community. Maybe someone knows what it said. I don't know. But I, I do believe at some point a circle will start moving in. Okay, I'm just exploring my own neighborhood right now. I stumbled upon a Terran player. Mm -mm -mm. Problem is, if you get really caught up fighting one person in a game like this, you'll probably find yourself falling behind in the long run. There's an island base over here too. I think I think at least there's a circle that moves in. Wasn't that the feature of this map? I think so. Is that why it was called a battle royale? We'll see. We'll see in just a moment. But yeah, I can definitely do like a couple streams as well where we're doing arcade games or something like that. Because there's a lot of high quality arcade maps out there that don't get a lot of attention. I don't think a lot of people realize how many cool games you can play within StarCraft 2. Like there's games within the game. <laughs> Local rule 4 of any free-for-all. Silent Skytals always wins. I'm afraid you are correct. But I don't think there is going to be a lot of silence in this type of game. Because, uh... I may or may not be broadcasting myself live on the internet. I don't think I'm going to be able to sit back and hide in a corner. I am cheating on Zerk. I am. Okay.
<laughs> There's another guy all of a sudden. Where did he come from? All right, we found out that our neighbor also has a neighbor. I had no idea. Yeah, Spoodle here is uh, accidentally getting destroyed by multiple people. This guy is apologizing in a competitive game. What is this? The StarCraft community being nice? Sorry, Spoodle. I do feel like a bit of a jerk too, but look, there can only be one winner, okay? You know what, I've, I've seen Terran players at this point being left by themselves and then suddenly, if you leave them alone for some time, they have a, a huge army again in the later stages of a match. So I am gonna try and go in for the kill. Even though it may be a little mean. <laughs> He's leaving. <laughs> oh, resource, yeah, yeah, that's another feature. There's a train, or like a car, that moves through the center of this map. That basically drops resources when killed, I believe. So this is like a free-for-all with objectives. It's actually really good. Like, it's actually really fun. So you're basically for- the truck was destroyed? Someone's here. What? Oh. Oh shit, okay. There's a... There's an immortal. I'm assuming he's got two bases. How do I even get over there? Oh, there's a ramp over here. Okay. Oh, actually, there's a ramp over here, too. He's got another command center somewhere. I just don't know where. The beacon is active. I don't know what that means. So Yorono is currently in the middle of the map. I think he gets a bonus if he like... Please help me. <laughs> oh no. Am I a bad guy? Am I, am I being mean right now? I don't know how this works, man. Yes, Loco, yes. Oh, man. Please help me. Sir, stop. No! No mercy. Okay, fine, I'm done. Mostly because I don't know where he's at. Ha! Ah, don't really like this. Yorono player is first. Yorono, man, such a player. I can't believe this. What's this? Oh no! Oh, I'm dead. I have no detection. I saw him going Dark Templar and or sorry, I saw him going for other units, but not this. Maybe I can create some chaos. Please no DT. <laughs> Spoodle, what are you talking about, man? Spoodle is begging right now. It's not a great strat. <laughs> Intuition. Still feels a bit mean, apparently, but... Problem is, guys, I am super destroyed right now. So, I've killed the DT, I guess. RB Gucci, no need to be fighting. Hello, what's going on right now? Do we have free-for-all politics? I didn't realize we signed up for that. 
Luckily, you deserved that. You're right. Oh, I lost my cyber core? Oh, I knew that. Yo, I was talking about making flying protos units. What happened? What? <laughs> What's this? Hello, I'm getting destroyed by DT. I'm the evil guy? I don't see what I'm going to be able to achieve, guys. Um, so I am very much so dead in this game. I don't really know exactly how I'm going to be able to observe this game, or if I can. I hope so. But I don't really see how. So if I leave, obviously, I don't have anything, right? So I guess I'll wait until he destroys all my structures, but that might accidentally kick me out of the game. I'm not sure how that works. He just recalled. Oh, bro, look at this. <gasps> Spoodle was complaining, but he's mining out a golden base right over here. Um, so this is my base. I don't know exactly when the, um, when the, um, circle starts moving in. It probably says it somewhere in the rules, but I don't know. I, maybe someone can read it. I don't even know how to get that screen back. That was a tips screen earlier, but. Not sure. My base is looking really nice. Thank you. Are you winning, son? Yes. Yes, I'm winning. Ah, F12, you're right. Something happens at 12 minutes. I guess we'll also see what happens when all my stuff gets destroyed. Because this is my last stuff. So, I guess I can at the very least see what these guys were up to in the meantime. Okay. Green Terran looking uh, a little bit better than me. Ay, 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 ay. Yorono over here, taking the entire top right and corner. <gasps> Dude. I am sitting here trying to survive with like three stalkers. And these guys have like a dozen battle cruisers up in the air already. Bonana over here also busy uh, making carriers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so basically what, what, what ends up happening here, right? Is that Spoodle, me, and a t uh, Intuition are all super dead. Like, that's basically what happens here. Everyone else is sitting in a corner, making a massive army. And the guys that are fighting, sure, maybe two of them get eliminated. But the third guy that was fighting them is not gonna do very much either, huh? Hmm, interesting. <clears throat> Battle cruisers and carriers. It's a pretty good thing. Hey, these guys will be going on for a little bit longer now. So if um, if that's the case, we can definitely get another game going. Grip Loco TV, European server. Let's try again. If again the observers could leave, that would be awesome.
I could cast the game as well, yeah. If I get targeted every time, I might just, you know, not play. We'll see. Mm -mm. Hey, what's going on, Big? Welcome. You didn't know I live stream? Yeah, so this is my second ever stream on YouTube. Welcome. I'm going to be live for about another hour and a half or so. Today we're doing community games. So if you want to play with me or against me, let's be real. You're going to probably try and play against me. Um, today's the day. <laughs> European server. Yep. Should be good. How's the YouTube stream going? Is it better or worse than Twitch? I've talked about that quite a bit already, so I don't really want to start up the entire thing again. But TLDR, I'm doing both right now, which I'm enjoying quite a bit. The streams are a little bit different. For example, my YouTube channel over here is very StarCraft focused, so I don't think I'm going to be streaming any other games on YouTube at this time. But, um, yeah. It's been fun. I've been enjoying it a lot. Hmm. I think Zerk is going to be pretty terrible in this campaign. Or in this mission. I don't know, guys. Big job, huh? Yeah, whatever. Yeah, whatever. Woohoo! Overtime! Roger. Isn't it super late where I'm at? Uh, it is 6.30pm where I'm at. I'm planning on doing a, a live stream every Friday starting 4 p.m. Central European Summertime. So 4 p.m. Central Time is... I think it's minus 9 for Pacific. Minus 6 for the East Coast on the, in the U.S. And then, you know, other side of the world, it's going to be 4. But I think, it's, I think it's a pretty good time. I think it's a pretty good time slot. It's like lunchtime at the moment in the U.S. or maybe a little earlier.